I became interested in engineering because I always was the kind of child that used to enjoy learning how stuff worked. When I graduated from high school, my math teacher uh, um, suggested that I took a look at uh, studying bioengineering. So, um, because it's like um, an excellent option for someone who's interested in medicine, but who rather wants to help like people behind the scene, scenes instead of like uh, directly with patients. When I was young, I was always interested in like building things with my hand. And as I started doing my GCSEs and A-levels, I took uh, subjects like design and technology. And then I just decided that since I was doing maths and physics with them as well, that I wanted to apply them a bit more. So I decided engineering was the best choice for me. Um, I decided to study systems engineering because I was fascinated the first time I used a computer. Um, I guess that since then I decided that I wanted to dedicate my life to computers. Uh, I decided to study civil engineering because I was um, really strong in mathematics and physics and uh, since I was interested in buildings uh, since an early age I thought that civil engineering and structural engineering was the, the easiest choice to go for. Um, last year I graduated um, as a bioengineer from the University of Leuven and my major was uh, biosystems. So um, I uh, was interested in uh, going further in that specialization and I chose uh, systems engineering. Um, I chose Sheffield simply because uh, its reputation as an engineering university is uh, well known throughout the world. So one of my professors uh, at the University of Leuven highly recommended um, studying in Sheffield at the Department of Automatic Control and Systems Engineering. He said that it gives a good balance between theory and um, practice, which I think is uh, highly valued in the industry. I did my undergrad in uh, biological related sciences in Greece and uh, as I've said I wanted to improve my skills as a scientist. Um, I chose this course um, mainly because I knew that it was going to be challenging. I was interested in uh, wanting to do something that's quite challenging where I could apply myself and I wouldn't be bored. Um, I knew that there was quite a lot of work to do in the first year and second year, third year. Um, so that was mainly why I wanted, I really wanted to test myself and see how far I could push myself. In my department, I like the fact that you receive many guidance from many experienced people. For instance, my personal tutor helped me to understand the expectations of the university towards a master's student. Also, my dissertation supervisor is helping me on working on the right direction by giving me feedback every week. I've got a design project, which is a, a group work where we're des designing a building. Uh, we're, right now we're at the conceptual stage where we're just looking through different design sketches and everyone's giving their thoughts and opinions. Since I started studying in Sheffield, I improved my critical thinking, my academic writing and my research skills. Um, Sheffield shaped me in a number of ways. Uh, growing up I was uh, quite relaxed about things. I wasn't ever really that competitive uh, with myself, um, but it's definitely made me realize that whenever you work hard at something you can really achieve whatever you want to uh, so for me to start off doing a bachelor's and now doing a master's you know it's made me realize that you can come a long way when you put the work in